are they not doing to make sure things like this don't happen? A local school district is closed for, of all things, bed bugs. We first told you about this problem last night on 11 at 11. Today, Channel 11's Lori Hoy went to Clareton and talked with students and families who want answers. Students here at the Clareton City School District had an early dismissal at 11.30 this morning, but I'm told more than half of them didn't show up for class today. They'll also have off on Friday so exterminators can treat the building for bed bugs. I don't think that until they, they're sure they have the problem resolved, that they, the children shouldn't come to school. Cynthia Cheney said her three grandkids didn't go to school today because of the bed bugs. School officials say students will get an excused absence. We left it up at the parents' discretion if, the if they did not want to send their, stu their student for the half day. On Thursday afternoon, exterminators did secondary treatment for bed bugs in multiple classrooms and all common areas. School officials tell me there is not a bed bug infestation at this K through 12 school, that the bed bugs were found only on one student, but the school is taking all the necessary precautions. Going forward, we will be doing periodic sprays on the weekends. In a letter to parents, school officials asked families to be proactive to help eliminate the bed bug problem by inspecting backpacks and lunch bags, washing clothes in hot water, and notifying the school nurse if bites are visible. Classes resume on Monday, but this grandparent says her grandkids won't be there. We are, what, six, eight weeks into school? and we already have this problem. So it's going to put a, a scare in a lot of parents. In addition, all after school activities are canceled today and on Friday. However, the home football game will take place as scheduled. From Clareton, Lori Hoy, Channel 11 News.